So, in our last episode, you saw me win a car, and then have the game glitch, and then I didn't win the car, and then Rockstar said you didn't win the car, because we can't see that you won the car, even though you have a video that shows you winning the car. So you can't have the car. So, what did I do about this? Well, there is a method. It's an annoying method, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's quite tedious and time-consuming and labor-filled. But there is a way of ensuring that you get the podium vehicle. And that is, you spin the wheel, and if it looks like you're not going to win the car, you close out. And you do that over and over and over. Now, the odds of winning the car are 1 in 20. So the odds of you actually getting it in 20 spins are actually, you know, you might think, oh, it's 1 in 20. So if I spin it 20 times, I'll get it by the 20th. That doesn't really work that way. Every time you spin it, there's a 1 in 20 chance. So it could go on forever. As it worked out in this case. Um, well, you'll see. You can see I have a counter going. You can see how many, many times it actually took. And it was kind of funny. I might have missed one or two. So maybe the statistics aren't perfect here, but... It gives you a rough idea. I, mean, we, I, I just ground through it. There was one time where I didn't close out fast enough and I had to wait for a, a couple, wait for another day and I got it on the last day. Finally did go through and ground through till I got that R88 because dad gummit, I really wanted to put both of the, the open wheel racers side by side in the garage and I had won it. I mean, I don't normally do this. Primarily because there's not a car in the world that I normally care enough about to put this much effort into. It's just not worth it. It's it's easier. If you look at it, every time you spin this wheel, you have to close the game out, reload the game. You're looking at five minutes longer every time you do a spin. It's, it's a time-consuming process. So by the time you do 20 spins, you've been doing this for over an hour and a half. There are probably better ways you could be spending your time, to be perfectly honest. But, I was on a mission. I felt I felt wronged by the system here. I felt like I hadn't been taken care of properly. And I understand Rockstar looking at it like, look, anybody can just make a video up that says, hey, look, I want a car and I didn't get it. And then just pretend it's in your account. and what? All right, we can fake stuff out. No one trusts video anymore. Fine, that's okay. But I felt like I had to then, therefore, find a method glitching involved or not. I don't know, would you call this glitching? Just closing the out and then starting up again? Or is it just labor-intensive way of getting where you need to get? I don't know. I'd say comment in the descriptions, but, uh, you know, COPPA and all that, you can't really put a description in there. You can't put any comments in the descriptions or descriptions in the comment or whatever you want to say. The whole point of the matter is, is that eventually I did get the car and that's, that's, I'd let you know that that's how that closed out once and for all. We finally did resolve the issue. And there is an RE8 sitting in my, in my garage next to my PR4. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Thank <laughs> you.